Hi all and welcome to OmniLabs. I'm Kenneth. Today we have another tutorial for you. It's a follow-up to the Consult Chrome extension wallet tutorial you can find here. Now we have a lot to go through today and this will be part one in a short series of how to use Consult.io. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next part in the series. Now this is today's agenda. As you can see we have a lot to go through. And remember, the guys over at Comswap, they work hard and nearly always. If you run into any issues at all, just jump onto their Discord and ask for help. And as usual, all the links in this tutorial are in the description below. Let's get to it. Open up your browser and go to comswap.io. Once you have the page open, click on register in the top right corner. Enter your email and your password twice. And as always, try to remember your password. Once you're done, click on the register button. Account set up in progress and you're done. Now let's log in with your new shiny password. Enter your email, your password and click on sign in. Just let me close this one quick. And now you're registered and you're logged in. Okay, so click on wallet on the top menu. Click on create wallet, enter your password and click on create. See, technically, you're done now. You have a wallet. But that's not really best practice. You should always, always save your seed phrase. So, click on save seed phrase. You see this here? Now this is important information. If you lose your seed phrase, you can't go crying to anybody about it because it's up to you to keep track of your own seed phrase, not anybody else. All right, so once you read this, click on continue. Now, here you can see your seed phrase. Click on copy seed and save it somewhere secure, okay? When you have saved it, tick the box to confirm that you have saved it somewhere secure and click on continue. Instant check, perfect. Okay, type in or paste in your seed phrase and click confirm. Then back to the dashboard. There you go, wallet created. All right, so now we're gonna create a MetaMask wallet. So go to metamask.io, click on download for Chrome, and then add to Chrome and add extension. Perfect. Once the extension is installed, it will open up a new browser tab to complete the installation. You see, we here at OmniLabs, we have already read the terms of use, and we hope you do as well. And when you have done that, take the box and click create new wallet. Click agree if you're okay with helping MetaMask improve their product, or no thanks if you're not. Enter your password and confirm it. And remember it. Because when you put a check in this box, it means that you understand that MetaMask cannot recover your password for you. Click on create new wallet. We want to secure our wallet, of course. This is the same thing here as it was with the previous wallet we created on Consort. You need to save your seed phrase and keep it secure. All right, so click on secure my wallet. Now click on Reveal secret recovery phrase. Save your seed phrase. Now you can copy it to your clipboard, you can write it down, you can give it to your dog, I don't know. But just make sure it's secure. And once you're done, click on next. To confirm that you have saved your seed phrase, fill in the missing words. And once you've done that, click continue. And again, it is good to read through these notifications when you see them. And once you have, click on got it. Now the install is complete. All you have to do is click on next and then done. And then we're done. Time to deposit some USDT. Oh, go up to account and then go to balance. Go down to USDT and open that tab. Time to connect your MetaMask wallet. Now click on connect wallet and choose MetaMask. Once you click on MetaMask, it will open up your wallet extension because you need to complete setting up the connection there. All right, so just click on next. Now, you can see here what you allow the website, consult.io in this case, to have access to. It's good to read that. Once you have, click on connect, and now it's connected. Now I open up the MetaMask extension just to quickly check what funds we have before we do a deposit. It's good to know. Now, as we are going to be using deposited USDT to buy ComAI, let's check if there's any good offers for us so we know how much to deposit. Now, you don't really have to do this, of course, you can just deposit any amount you want, but this is a good way to clarify what the USDT is going to be used for. 
Click on the home button at the top of the page, scroll down a little bit. Now this will bring you to the current offers for both selling and buying. We want to buy some common AI with the USDT that we deposit, right? So let's see what offers we can find here. So this is how offers work, right? Say that we have a hundred extra common AI that we want to sell. We can go in here and we can create an offer for that. We can put in the amount, a hundred common AI. We put in how much we want for each and then we create an offer. And then along comes somebody else that wants 100 common AI. They think the price is good. They can accept that offer. Once they do, the funds get automatically transferred to our account and they automatically get the common AI. It's pretty simple actually. And it's the same way the other way around. So if you want to buy, say, a 10,000 common AI because you were really loaded, right? And you want to buy it at a special price, you can put it in the buy offer for that. And hopefully somebody comes along and sells it to you for the price that you want. But it's always good to make sure what other people are buying and selling for. So you don't, you know, undersell or oversell or you know what I mean, right? Just be good. All right, let's get back on track again. We were checking to see if we could find any good offers so we knew how much to deposit, right? This one here, quantity of 99, price 2.6 per com AI for a total of 257.4 USDT. Let's pick that one. So, all right, now we know how much we want to deposit. Let's go do that. So now you need to open up the balance under your account. You remember from the top menu? And go down to the deposit area and then click on the USDT tab. So now we're going to enter the amount that we saw in the offer before that we checked, remember? That was 257.4 USDT. After you enter that, click deposit. This here is just a confirmation box and from here you can cancel if you want to, but we're not going to do that of course. So let's approve. When you have clicked, you can see that the button changes and now it says approval pending. Once it does that, it's going to open up the MetaMask extension for you. Right, first things first, we need to set the sending cap request for USDT on this MetaMask account. When you have specified your sending cap, scroll down the page and click next. On the summary page, if everything looks good, just click approve or reject it if you change your mind, of course. If you did click on approve, you just need to wait a little bit and now you can click deposit. Now the process goes back to your wallet extension and it opens that for you. Now here you can see pending transactions. This is normally gone by now, but as you can see by the warnings, the network is busy at the moment. So just scroll down the page. Because this is working on the ETH mainnet, we have ETH gas fees for the transaction on the ETH mainnet. Now, as we know, the network is busy, so the gas fees are high. What we don't do for you guys, right? <laughs> you can wait here and see if you're lucky, because the gas fees are continuously updated depending on network usage. Now, you could be lucky and it could give you a lower fee, but the network usage could go up and it could cost you a lot more. Anyway, click confirm to continue. Let's open up the MetaMask extension again, just to check that our tokens have been transferred. All right, so click on tokens and yep, we can see that we have less tokens now than we had before because some of them were transferred. Perfect. Now, we could do this whole process again for ComAI because it is literally the same process. You just use ComAI instead of USDT. And I don't think I need to waste your time with that. You already know how to do that. I say, let's move on and buy some Com AI instead. Now, let's go back to that offer that we looked at before. You remember the one that had 99 Com AI for 257.4 USDT? And now we can't see the offer anywhere. If this happens to you, this is what you can do to check it. Go up to the top of the page and click on last trades. Now, if you scroll down the page, and there we go. You can see that somebody else picked up the offer that we wanted. Typical. <laughs> now, of course, we did all of this deliberately just to show you how to use the tool and to learn a bit more about it. Now, let's go buy some Com AI. Finally. <laughs> go back to the top menu, click on Home. Now, we're going to scroll down a bit, and here we can see all the offers they currently have. On the confirmation box, you can see how many Com AI and for how much, and also what transaction fees applies. In this case, 1%. Just click confirm to continue. And we can see that the offer was accepted on that little green box down there. Perfect. 
All right, so now we're gonna go back and check your balance to see if you have Comeo on your account. Now you remember how to check your balance, right? That's right, top right corner, click on account and then balance. And here is your Come AI. Fantastic. And now it's about time that we learn how to create our own offers as well. I mean, we've been looking at them, so it's about time to create them. We are gonna start with buy offers. Go back to the homepage and scroll down to the offers section. Now, before you click on create an OTC offer, it can be good to check what other people are buying and selling for. So you have some kind of reference point. We're gonna start with creating I wanna buy offer. Now remember, this means that you're gonna create an offer for how much Comei you want to buy, but you also specify how much you want to pay per Comei. All right, so let's write the price that we wanna pay for Comei at two. Yeah, 2.2 sounds better. Does it really matter for this case? And that we want to buy 50 Comei. All right, if you scroll down the page, we can see if we can find our offer here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. We want to buy 50 Comei for 110 USDT. Now, if somebody accepts that offer, the Comei will automatically be added to your account. If for some reason you regret that you added the offer or you maybe wrote the wrong numbers, you can remove it, it's very easy. Just know that when you click on the trash can button, there will be no confirmation box, it will be gone instantly. Let's create another offer. This time we're gonna sell some Comei. Click on I wanna sell, fill in your numbers, check the total, click on create. Scroll down the page to find your offer. This is just for the tutorial, so I'm not gonna keep that offer. But if somebody did accept it, we would automatically see the USDT on our account when they accept it. Very simple. Now we thought that it could be good to actually show what it is like to complete the process of accepting an offer as well. So we're gonna sell some Comei. And here we have two good ones right next to each other, both wanting to buy 50 Comei. The difference is that one is willing to pay just a little bit more than the other one. And that's the one we're gonna pick, of course. Now, that's not financial advice, that's just common sense. <laughs> click on sell Comei. Now, read the confirmation box. If all looks good, click on confirm. And remember, there is a transaction fee for this. And we can see here that the offer is accepted. Perfect. And if we check our balance, we can see that we have a bit more USDT because somebody paid for the Comei that we sold. Now click on the wallet menu button on the top of the page to open up your wallet. Click on copy the address and then go back to consult.io. Scroll down to the withdraw section, paste in your commune wallet address, enter the amount that you want to withdraw and click withdraw Comei. Now you can confirm your address if you want to and click on Withdraw Comei. And Withdraw Confirmed. And now you can see we have no Comei left on the account. So open up your MetaMask extension because we want to withdraw the USDT from consult.io and place it on our MetaMask wallet. So we need the key for that. Just click on the key address and that will copy the address for you. Scroll down the page and go to the Withdraw section again. Click on the USDT tab paste in your wallet address, enter the amount that you want to withdraw, and then click Withdraw USDT. On the confirmation box, just click Withdraw USDT. If you check our wallets, we can see that everything has gone well. Oof, now this was a bit longer tutorial than we normally do. We had a lot to cover today. Thankfully though, the people over at Conswap have done an excellent job with Conswap.io and that helps a lot with this type of tutorials. Now remember, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode in this series. All right, everybody, take care. See ya.